Today, I'm gonna make a rechargeable LED lantern utilizing wood, leather, and plexiglass. It's using some simple electronics and it's made for van life, but a little bit more about that later in the video. Hmm. So, the electronics. You don't need that many parts to create a lamp like this. Basically, you need some LEDs. I'm using a few tiny 3.4 volt ones. You need a switch. A battery, I'm using a 3.7 volt LiPo battery. You need a charging regulator and a female USB input. And I'll have a list of all the parts that I'm using in the description. So I'm setting up a pretty simple circuit here for this light. I'm thinking I'm gonna use maybe five lights. The thing to realize here is the order that you put this in to make sure the switch is in the right place because you want this to be able to charge and you don't want the switch to turn off the charging. You want the switch to turn off the light. In terms of materials for this lamp, I was thinking about what would be practical and nice looking and I settled on a combination of wood and thick leather. The leather is soft yet rigid and really great when you want to make a cylinder. And like always when cutting wood, and this is cherry by the way, I'm using a mask. And if you remember previously, all my dust producing tools were outside in my carport shop. However, now I have an indoor shop and I really need to control the dust in here. Obviously, I need to use a mask and I'm using a shop vac. And I'm going outside whenever possible too. Got four pieces cut now for the top and the bottom and the inside of the light. Now I get so many questions about these RZ masks and I really like them because they're really comfortable, they come in different sizes and you can change the filters when they get dirty, which is pretty cool. And if you use the code DARBIN20, you get 20% off of their website. So that's worth checking out if you're in the market for a really great mask. And there's more information in the description below. So the idea is that I want to cut out some windows in the leather here and then I want to have it on the inside with a bit of this plexiglass that I'm going to frost. Now initially I was thinking about cutting pieces and windows and gluing those on separately but now I'm thinking if I could heat this with a heat gun it should bend nicely so that way I'll, I'll be able to glue on the entire piece and it should add some nice strength and rigidity and be less finicky. I chose to use leather for this project because leather is light, yet it's durable. And the same goes for the interior components of the light. Because I was thinking if the lantern gets thrown around in the car or wherever, it wouldn't get damaged. The reason why I'm using these types of LEDs is because they draw pretty much the exact amount of voltage that the battery puts out. So I only needed a very small resistor and I only needed one battery. If I had used a 12 volt strip for example, I would have needed three batteries in series. So this worked out really great.
in here now. <laughs> so we got visitors in the shop here. This is Molly and Dylan from the Wood Brew YouTube channel, and they came to visit. You guys are on a trip. Yes, yeah. we are traveling from Alabama all the way up to New York City, and we're collaborating with some creators along the way. Mm -hmm. For a month. For a whole month. That's a long time in event. They have videos about this van build, which are pretty cool. So go check out their channel. There's a link in the description below for that. And like one thing that you guys were talking about that you need in here is a light. Mm -hmm. Camping light. Yes. Camping light. It's this long and it's one of those. Okay, so this is concave here. Mm -hmm. So the key is that you really want to bang down pretty good. Now, this light, I mean, it's designed to be ambient, like to provide a gentle low light, not a spotlight. So more to provide atmosphere and just a general nice feel, if you know what I mean. And then, of course, you really can't go wrong using hot glue to secure these parts. And I'm also using some white cardboard to make sure everything stays in place and also to hide the wires from view a little bit. The screws here are a design feature through the top and the bottom. However, if you do need to access the electronics, they're easy to remove. And to charge it, you can use a standard five volt phone charger. It takes about three hours to recharge and the battery should last about four to five hours. There's a little table lantern. Here's a lantern. Or you need like a like a hook or something. Yeah. Or like when you're going out in the woods in the yeah. middle of the night oh, we did and you that need last like night. Oh gosh, that was bad. We went to Alton and I was like, there's a tree right there, so let's go this way. <laughs> This is why we need this. Look at that. Now, I love the idea of bringing a lantern like this out on an adventure, like a road trip in a van, which, by the way, sounds like so much fun. And I hope you guys get a chance to check out Molly and Dylan's channel. It was really nice to have them stop by. So we also ended up working on a couple of other things for their van, and that video will be out soon on the Wood Road channel, so stay tuned for that. Things. Is that what you that said? <laughs> I, I thought I heard you say that now. You didn't say. Yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs>